Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Cancers a Lifestyle. I have some happy mail today, very unexpected happy mail. As you can see that huge box over there, that is from one of um, my uh, uh, ministry ladies from Chicago when we, when we actually lived there. Uh, she sent me a huge box. I've mentioned her a few times. Her name is Bridget and she is the queen of the corner to corner blankets or scarves or anything she loves corner to corner so let's um check it out and see what she got us okay okay and now we're back so um let me show you what she got now as i mentioned she is a corner to corner artist that's all i can say is that she just loves corner to corner and uh, i can see right now as i'm holding up this is such a cool idea of what she just did. This is a corner to corner shawl. Can you see this? But look what she did. She gave it uh, shoulders almost. So when you put them on, this is so cool. Oh. Let me see if I can put it on without making a mess here. Oh my gosh. See, it fits your shoulders. I can't do this without making a mess. Look at that. That is so cool. I have not seen this yet, so I don't know where she got this idea. So you have kind of a, a shoulder pads almost for your shawl. Isn't that awesome? That is so awesome how she did that. So, yes, really nice warm shawl. I think the ladies at the senior centers will love this. It is very nice and thick. It will be very nice and warm for them. Now let me show you the front of it. This is such a great idea. I don't know where she got this idea from. So here's your front here. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. What a great idea. I love this idea. So let's see what else she got. I have no idea what's in this box. I keep saying idea like it's, ooh, corner to corner blanket. Look at that red and blue goes really well nice lap gan I used to work with a uh, with a lady who loved to combine red and blue together like I, I, I rarely see that like for a wardrobe but she used to love to wear it oh this is so pretty oh this is a nice little baby blanket look at this one I am gonna have to find a home for this look at these this is very colorful very nice Bridget has always loved this the best and she's tried different things and yet um, oh look a grocery bag oh my gosh that is so cool that is so cool that is so cool that's very nice oh so I guess I'm gonna have to see what else is in there and uh, a lot of the lap gans I am going to put in uh, to the senior center and I'm probably going to have uh, most likely looks by the size of this bag that it will most likely go to two separate facilities. I will let you guys know um, the name of them at the next video. Here's another one and she gave it actually a trim all the way around if you can see she gave it a little uh, And she gets a lot of uh, her yarn uh, online. Like she'll um, go to like uh, virtual garage sales and things like that. And she gets a lot of her yarn when people are selling it um, online. You know, used yarn. I noticed that she did a trim around all of hers. That is so pretty though. It looks really good. I like this one. This is such a pretty color. It's almost like a... I don't want to say rose, a plum and pink and and beautiful colors of uh, orange and yellow together. It looks really pretty. I like this one a lot. It's a nice color combination. Wow, she's been working a lot. She loves to crochet and she actually, uh, oh wow, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look at these squares. Oh my gosh, these are flowers. 
some have flowers and some don't isn't this lovely these are all squares oh wow what a very pretty blanket I love this this is gorgeous Bridget lovely combinations of violet and white and and the oh wow I really like these look at these little flowers on the squares these are beautiful Bridget let's see what else we got there oh my goodness look at these oh this is a pretty blanket too oh I got it inside out sorry <laughs> I'm staring at the pretty but look at this one isn't that pretty Oh my goodness, so pretty. <laughs> I showed you the inside out version. Oh my, look at this, beautiful colors. Look at these colors of all the yellows and greens muted together. It's just looking lovely. I love this one too. Oh, it looks like I have, it's kind of dark in here and I have all the lights on, but it's been like super humid by us and it's just like, uh, like the old versions of springs. Remember when spring was really spring and it rained a lot and all, but now we have a lot of humidity and it's like, you can feel the moisture in the air building up and you know, it's going to rain. It smells like rain. So we've had quite a lot of rain which was great for the farmers out here and the gardens like people are already picking their lettuce here in central illinois and all and i mean everything's growing beautiful but and it's hot and humid but good lord <laughs> i'm thinking what is the summer going to be like it's going to be really hot <laughs> so it's like kind of overcast again so many clouds in the sky every day even when it's super hot but you, you can feel like that storm is coming and I read somewhere um, that this year is like they're forecasting the um, the most tornadoes that they have. Uh, they're predicting that there's going to be more tornadoes than um, in the than we've had in the last several years. So I can totally see it. Oh, here's another one. This is in black and like a what is that? It's not a pink. It's like a pink purple. What do you call those? It's not fuchsia. Well, this is a nice size blanket. It's more than a lapgan. This is a nice cover for the... Oh, yeah. These are nice. This is definitely going to end up being a donation to three separate places. I can see there's some baby blankets in here that I can use as baby blankets. And there's... um, And I'm going to end up with two senior facilities because I already have a box started. Uh, wow. Love the purples. Look at the shades of purple. It's almost like an ombre, but it's not because I know she just combined all the different. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Love. These are all purple, even though it's coming out. Blue. Very nice. I'm going to have to send her a message to thank her. I'm going to have to scoop down to, into the box now. So you have to excuse me. Oh. Oh, scarves in the corner to corner. Isn't this corner to corner? It sure looks like it. Look at how pretty this is. I never seen that scarf like that. Oh, very nice. And I'm gonna have to find some homes for these. Oh, another one. Well, this is pretty too. Look at this one. I should maybe hold it up this way to see the patterns. Very pretty. Nice and wide. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this doll. I wonder if her daughter, if this is, her daughter also was part of our um, group. Okay. Lola. I wonder if Lola made this or if, if she made it. Look at even the dress. Isn't that adorable? I am going to have to find a home for this. Oh my goodness. Look at the hair. Look at that. And the dress, I think it comes on and off. Yep. Look at her ballerina. She 
shoes. This is adorable. She did a really nice job on this. Oh my goodness. Lovely. Let's see what else we got. Oh no. Huh. Oh my gosh. I love this one. Look at this one. I am so impressed. I always felt like I could not do um, dolls. Like I always thought it was it looked com too complicated. But maybe look at that. I wonder if Lola made these. These are adorable. Look at her hair. I love it. Oh. Just lovely. I love this. Oh. And then. Oh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? That is very nice. Let me see what else we got in here. Because she's got so much stuff. Oh, another scarf, and one side is that purple and black in the middle. This is a nice size. Then we have, oh, I wonder if this is like one of these that you put around. It's very pretty. Very nice. Huh, it's like shells. Let's see. Oh. And then we have one more purse. <laughs> These are nice. I think I'm going to, with the dolls and uh, like the purses and all, I think I'm going to donate these to a woman's shelter. Women always have children with them, and I think this will look be nice because they can have a purse. A lot of these shelters uh, where they have women and children, um, they also like to uh, find them somewhere to live and um, help them find jobs and all. So uh, this would be this would go well with that. And I I could just see a little girl getting the dolls and be really happy about that, having a toy. So thank you, Bridget, so much. I appreciate it. I really really appreciate it. If you're watching Bridget, thank you. I I really appreciate this. I am definitely going to give you a uh, send you a thank you card you didn't have to do that to mail all of that out it was kind of sad to see us all kind of go our own way uh, Bridget has been with me and her da daughter Lola for like the whole seven years of this ministry that we had and um, I knew that once we would move here and all it would just not be uh, possible for us to maintain this ministry kind of together because you know you postage costs money and um, you have to kind of you know send things in the mail then but I really appreciate that thank you so much um, I love how people all have a heart for helping others and they use their talents to help other people um, even in our last year or so together I think it was like two years or so the last two years we ended up moving farther apart from each other and it was even really hard to get together then because of the distance so um i really appreciate this bridget so much and um if lola i think lola probably did the dolls i'm not sure and if it, if not and it was you bridget i am sorry <laughs> thank you so much ladies for all that you have done for this ministry and that all that you continue to doing for for this uh, ministry I will definitely let all of you know where I'm going to be sending these I just wanted to get this out and do a video and show my appreciation I will also have pictures of all of this on our Facebook page the ministries page um, so um, you can go out there and think and if you would like to be uh, interested and see who the ladies were that were with me through all those years there's many pictures on the ministry page uh, of us together in groups or when we met on and um, yeah so you can just go show your love to them they were had such a great uh, it was such a great experience um, I wish I could have done uh, you know where we could do this um, together and all I wish it was a little um, you know how do you make something better you know I would love to have uh, taking it here and all but that that happens to life you know where um, 
to everyone has to move on and move forward and sometimes that means you're breaking relations and um so anyway thank you so much bridget i really appreciate it and i like i said to all of you i will be back in my next video i plan on doing an update on all my projects and what i'm working on and all i will give you an update and i will let you know where all of this will be going um I have to get separated and it's a huge pile this is at least um, two laundry woman washes is I wash everything and um, before I mail it out so we'll let all of you know that um, otherwise stay cool because I'm sure it is humid by where you're at too <laughs> and I will see you soon bye bye